today's Excel exposure video lesson will go over how to create and design charts in Excel. You'll see that I already have some example data set up. Up top I have sales by month. It is all based on data that I have below which has sales distribution by country by month. Then above there are some additional tables which sum up that information. So I have sales by country which will take each country and sum up all of the full year's sales and these are ranked from best to worst and then I also have a total sales by month which takes the total from each month of the table below covering all countries the reason for selecting these countries is because this is actually the top ten countries that visit my website according to my site statistics so first we will start with sales by month and we'll go ahead and we will insert a line graph to look at the trending of sales over time so in order to do that we will highlight the sales by month up top we will go to insert and you'll see there's a charts area this has multiple different types of charts in this instance we will use a line graph so I'll pick a 2D line the first option on the top and click it you'll see it automatically comes up with a version of the chart which is how Excel assumes you'll want to see it but we'll go ahead and tweak it a little bit to make it a little bit more visually appealing so first I will drag it over below my chart and I will extend it across just to make it a bit bigger and easier to see you'll see that the legend to the right since it's only one category that we're displaying it's just total sales by month we really don't need that so I will go ahead and click the legend and I will press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it now you'll see we can see our sales by month visually so that you can get a feel for how it trends over time if you look up top at the ribbon you'll see that you have different design options and if you hit this more button you'll see all of the various design options you can choose my favorite color is green so I will go with one of the green versions let's pick the top one and you'll see that it changed my line graph to be green now if you go to format you'll see there are different types of shape styles which is for the entire chart itself if I expand the more option I will pick one of these lovely looking green options and you'll see that it changes the formatting of my chart to look a bit more appealing since all of the monthly sales are in the range of around 70,000 to 100,000 we may not want to show the axis starting from zero we might want to change that so that we're not wasting so much white area down below in order to do that you can go to layout and see where it says axes click on that and you'll see you have horizontal axis and vertical axis and for vertical axis we will go ahead and go to the more options and you'll see this dialog box pops up for our axis options we have the minimum maximum and which units they're displayed in so right now our minimum is zero our maximum is 100 and the units are 10,000 in between each of these lines that is marked as auto so if we change it to fixed we can actually change which these values are so for minimum let's change that to be 60,000 and maximum we will keep it at 100,000 but just type it in so that it doesn't change as our data changes and now we hit close and you'll see we get a much more readable chart which shows us the trending over months you could also go ahead and go to layout and add data labels if you wanted to show the values for each month and you can also right click your data labels and hit format to see a lot of various options as to different ways of displaying that information I will remove the data labels and you can also click on the line itself right click and do format data series and let's say we want to add a marker so a marker would just be a visual point on the graph to show where each month's value is 
So I'll click built in and I will choose this large dot. And you could go ahead and change the size here if you wanted to, but I won't. So I'll hit close and you can see that it's a little bit easier to tell where each of the months actually hit along the line. Next I will show you how to do a pie chart and I will use the sales by country as an example. So you highlight your area, go to insert and choose pie chart. Now there are multiple different types of pie charts but I will just pick the first one and you'll see that it automatically creates what it thinks I would like for a chart which is pretty close. We can see that the chart title is not ideal so you can either right click it and hit edit text or just double click and I will write sales by country. Similar to the last chart we can look at the different chart styles if I blow out the more option and here we'll pick something that looks a little bit more 3D because that might be more fun. Then we can go to format and shape styles and we'll pick the same one from before just to keep these consistent and let's say just to make it a little bit more easy to understand which values there are here we can go to layout data labels and we'll click best fit so it tries to put the information in the best area possible now you'll see that it put in all of the data values into their respective pie slices if I right click and go to format data labels I can also choose to put the category name with each one so that it'll tell you the exact country along with the dollar amount so I'll hit close and feel free to mess around with any of the additional options for each of these kind of charts I just want to show you a quick how to but there are plenty of things you can modify like let's say the size of the pie chart or changing the way that the slices are displayed by moving them out so they're more easily visible separately but I will go ahead and undo that to make it back to what I had before and next I will show you how to insert a bar chart based on the sales distribution by country by month and for this one I'll just pick the top five go to insert column and I'll actually pick the second one which is a stacked column again Excel tries to make the version it thinks I want I will move this down below and resize it for viewing purposes the thing with stacked columns is that it actually puts the categories in this case countries in the reverse order of which they're shown in the table so you'll see that Australia is at the top Canada, UK, India, and then United States at the bottom. And that's actually the opposite of the way I'd want to show it. So if you right click the legend and go to select data, you will see here it says legend entries. And although it shows them in the correct order here, it's actually the reverse of how they would be displayed. So what you have to do is click on each one and reverse the order by moving them to the correct location. So United States we'll move to the bottom India right above it and so on and then click OK and you'll see that it is currently showing them in the correct order just like before I will go up into the chart styles I'll use that fun 3D version I will go up to format pick my lovely green since that's my favorite color and this way you can see each month's total sales but the columns are separated out so you can see which portion relates to each country which gives you a pretty good representation of how the total sales are divvied up by month so for example if you look at March you can tell that Australia really wasn't that big of a portion whereas the United States was quite large and it also gives you a trend of the total over time as well if you want to have your columns a bit wider you could click on them then right click go to format data series and you'll see where it says gap width you can change this to be a large gap which means that the 
bars will be skinny because the gap is the space in between or you could bring them a lot lower to have much larger columns so we'll use 50 percent and then hit close also since there's no title on this chart I can go to layout chart title I will do above chart and extend my chart a little bit lower to keep the same aspect ratio from before and I will rename the chart title sales for top five countries by month and there we have a nice way of presenting that information that isn't quite as boring as just looking at the numbers thankfully in Excel 2010 there's even a way to jazz up that boring data range I just referred to so if we scroll up to sales distribution by country there's something called spark lines in Excel 2010 that can add a chart to a specific cell so for example if we wanted to see the sales distribution by country shown as a line chart for each of them we could go to insert and you'll see the spark lines category if we click line you'll see that it asks us to choose the data range so I will select United States January to December hit enter and location range is already selected as 052 so I hit OK and you'll see that within that cell it gives me a line chart of the United States sales by month if you copy this down by using the fill handle you'll see that it automatically creates a spark lines chart for each of the countries so you can quickly see the trend over the month right next to your data which can be extremely useful if you're printing out reports where there are a lot of numbers and you want to give a small simple chart to the side to give a quick idea of the information you're seeing there are some additional options with spark lines first I'll change to green just because that seems to be the theme here you can change this show area to show the high point and the low point on each of the charts and if we expand this design area we could choose one that has a little bit more definition of those points as separate colored markers and so now you can see very easily where the high and low points for each are during the months one thing to remember about sparklines though is that it's showing each one with an axis relative to its own performance so for example the high point of Germany is near the top of the cell just like the high point for the United States is although their dollar values are very different so if you want to show them on the same axis levels so that you're not misinterpreting the data when looking between rows you should select the entire area and then click on this access option and instead of automatic for each spark line you'll do same for all spark lines under both the vertical minimum and the vertical maximum values and that way it gives you a much better way to compare them relative to each other with the spark lines that are shown to the right of each row and you'll see that very quickly with the charts we've made you can take some simple data and show it in much more visually appealing way that can get across a lot of information that might not be readily apparent just by the numbers I've saved two versions of the sheet one with them already completed and I will delete the charts from this one so that you can follow along at home and feel free to play around with any of the other charts because there really are quite a lot of different types if you click on any one of these categories and go to all chart types you'll see a complete listing of all the different categories or you can just scroll through and check them out this way so feel free to play around and I hope you enjoyed the lesson